What up everyone, Zonobar here coming at you with another video. Today is going to be another episode of YouTube Diary. So there's a few things I want to talk about, but first and foremost, I would like to thank you for 500 subscribers. Uh, what a summer it's been. Uh, we started this summer at like 200-ish subscribers, and we doubled that, like almost more than doubled that, at 500 subscribers. Right now I'm like at 520 but yeah, I just wanted to thank you. This is a huge milestone for me as a content creator. And I hope to see my channel grow even more in the past few years, months, etc, etc. Uh, and we don't know, maybe a new game is going to come out, or maybe a, a new champion, or something is going to do that my channel is going to grow even more. I'm just very excited about what's coming. So thank you, thank you so much. <clears throat> All of you that watch the video, that click on the thumbs up, or even the thumbs down, uh, that comment feedbacks. Uh, that tell me, oh, you're doing such a good job explaining this or that. All, like, the DMs on Instagram or on Twitter, like, those means a lot to me, and they really keep me motivated. So, thank you so much. Of course, I don't have, like, 500 views on all of my videos, but I guess that's okay. That's how uh, YouTube works nowadays. And, yeah, so thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are going to stay, and I cannot wait for what's, what's to come. So besides that guys, I wanted to talk about this week and reflect on what happened during those few days of YouTube and just talk about how I was feeling, like just a diary about how stuff are going on and what's about to come. So guys, this week we actually done a lot of videos and I, I, last episode I talked a lot about how I wanted to work on some other stuff, some other series and just work on promoting my videos. And I feel like I've worked a lot on that. Like I've tried to do a lot. Um, I've tried to really take care of my website, which is zonopost.com, and uh, gain traffic from Google to YouTube uh, to get people to watch my videos. So uh, some people that would Google like how to play Lucian, maybe they will hit on a video of mine that is from an article on my website. And that really, really helped. A lot of my traffic right now, uh, as I watch a lot of analytics, uh, is from external sources, so other website, um, people that just refer my video somewhere, or when I, or like, I guess social media is not external because it, it has a category for social media. So when I tweet, when I Facebook a video, it just doesn't, doesn't count as external. So this, I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about something that are really important. Like, I've been watching a lot of videos from people in the internet that are, like YouTube consultant, YouTube experts, and I was like, you know what, I don't know if, so I'm always curious to learn more about the algorithm and what YouTube does, what works, I do a lot of research, I work a lot on this, like I really want to know what works, because obviously I want to make good content, but I also want to promote it and I want people to see it, and I think it's, it's normal to think like that, it's normal to be like, oh, I want people to watch my content, and it's like I'm really divided into into two opinions. Like I feel like in, on one side there's the opinion that says okay you have to know everything like just know about this and know about the algorithm, know about how it works, know about this, know about that. But on the other side I feel like the biggest creators like when we see PewDiePie, Markiplier or even the upcoming ones like uh, for the League of Legends scene like Heisman, Professor Kali, Yasuo, I feel like their growth is very like organic, like natural. Uh, and there's not, there's no, I, like I'm not saying they're not taking themselves so seriously, but I feel like the flow of what they're doing and their growth is much more like them just doing what they like and people tend to watch them and like it and, and that's it. And they've been doing this for a long time and they just see and witness growth. So I feel like I want to do, I want to study this algorithm. I really want to know how to hack YouTube and how to get people to watch my videos. But on the other side, I feel like YouTube is just a platform for people to play videos. And if you do good content, people will eventually watch it and tell their friends about it and things will just grow. So I'm always like, when I see those videos, when I see like those conferences about uh, those guys talking about how YouTube can, how you can grow on YouTube, uh, t 10 ways, 10 tips for new YouTubers, uh, 5 advice that most YouTubers don't do like all those sh all those videos are really valuable and they do a they do share a lot of advices but I feel like the, the people that grow a lot the, the people that just grind YouTube they don't have time to watch those videos because they're just busy working on their shit and making it super good so I'm always like it's always a dilemma I'm like is it what really like big YouTubers are doing right now watching those videos should I not just focus on my editing or stuff like that so 
That was just a thought. Just oh, I've been doing this a lot this week. Uh, I kind of I don't I I regret it. I don't regret. I don't really know what to say about that. But it's it's really about it. Like I feel like it's growing on YouTube is almost like a math now. Like you have to optimize how the algorithm of YouTube is gonna uh, like is gonna push a channel, I guess. But on one side, I want to care about it. But on the other side, like. Because on one side, I want to care about it because I feel like it gives me a lot of satisfaction to have views. And this is true. Like, people went, like, it's, like, I don't know, like, scientifically, like, you have endorphins when people like your, your, your YouTube post or your Facebook image uh, or stuff like that, right? And it, I think it's the same thing for YouTube. Like, you feel like you work hard on a video and, oh, this video is having 100 views. Like, wow, I mostly do average, like, 20, 30 views per videos. This one had 100. This is really good. Like, this is rewarding. And on the other side, I'm like, yo, I'm just a guy. I'm, I like to play video games. I like to talk about esports and gaming. I just want to do videos. People watch them. They watch. They don't watch them. I, I really, I care, and I don't care. Like, as long as I'm having fun, as long as I'm happy, uh, I'll just keep doing it. Like, YouTube is so fun right now. Uh, I love editing videos. I, I love putting like games together, and it is really what makes me happy right now. And I feel like this is so important that to keep it that way, because. I see people on the internet, I feel like some people are just optimizing the content for the algorithm, but they're not, they're burning out, like they're not having fun, and I just think it's, it's kind of sad. But that's just my opinion, right now I'm super happy because obviously I reached a milestone, which is 500 subscribers, and hopefully we can grow from that, hello, who is texting? Uh, yeah. So basically, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, and... Tomorrow, actually tomorrow I'm going to New York, so today when you're going to watch this video, I am I will be in New York, and this is going to be very interesting for me because I haven't traveled uh, in a while, and I don't know what it is to be a daily uploader when you are a YouTuber, so I'm, I'm going to see, I'm going to try my best to upload videos while in New York. I have records of games and stuff I want to do. Hopefully I can take like an hour or two hours of my day. I'm, ov I'm obviously there. Uh, to see my parents and just hang out with the family, but I think I can find time to edit at least one video a day. It should uh, it should be fine, especially on the plane. I feel like I would have a lot of time in the plane. Um, what else, guys? So yeah, I feel like this is going to be a huge challenge. Like uh, just traveling, taking t ten days off. I need to stay relevant on YouTube. I need to stay active because otherwise I I'm going to hurt myself. Like I this is just shooting myself in the foot if I. If I don't upload every day or at least like four or five times a week. So we'll see how this goes, guys. This was just uh, a little talk before my departure. Uh, hopefully I can upload and give you guys some content all throughout uh, this next 10 days. But if I cannot upload, I'll try to do a live stream on YouTube. I heard that was very popular right now. I usually do a lot of um, Instagram uh, or Periscope live stream just to talk to you guys about stuff that are happening but maybe I can cover news or like do some content like that in my hotel room so we'll see how this goes so thank you so much again for 500 subscribers I'm like super happy about it sorry I haven't done the videos at 500 but I guess I was too busy to do another uh, YouTube diary so thank you so much for being here guys keep on uh, watching keep on sharing with your friends uh, my videos I appreciate all you being here and I'll see you for the next one guys cheers feel good what up, KZ? Yeah, yeah. Windows down when we ride around through our town. Don't care what the weather is, volume to the max, we be living out loud. Got that dope flow that make you look in your library, never hit the books. I just wrote some words down and make catchy hooks. Well, look, it's stuck. All this attention they paid, and this for me, why they trying to get.